And who the hell are you? Oh, my name is Sierra. I'm Squishy Sister, actually. Okay, so what the hell are you doing here? Um, excuse me. Can you mind grown folk business, please? If you do not be paying no bills in this house, if you don't own this house, don't be asking me no questions. Okay, and look, I don't take no disrespect for nobody, so you need to learn how to watch your mouth. Or what? Are you going to lose your little boy tantrum? I'm not a little girl and I'm not a digmatized woman that you can control. So please pipe, pipe down with the insecure masculinity. Thank you. Oh, mom, who's this? Oh, my name's Sierra. Nice to meet you. Um, excuse me. I believe that my daughter asked me the question. Who the hell are you to cut in front of me? You didn't open your mouth fast enough for me. What was it, huh? Couldn't come up with the insult whenever you introduced me? Mm. Um, Sophie, honey, can you please show me where I'm going to be sleeping? Uh, uh. Does she know that her wig is lopsided? It is. She's only mad because she can never look better than me. Yep. I like the way she walks. Mm. Hey, Sophie. Um, excuse me. What the hell are you doing barging in here like that? I'm changing. Okay, and so I've seen plenty of females. You ain't nothing special. How the hell did you even get in? I locked my door. Oh, I picked the lock because I have to tell you something. That important that you picked my lock? Yeah, I mean, why don't you show me a little something, something, you know? Ah! Do you like that perv, huh? Who do you think you are coming in here while she's changing? Ah! What the hell is going on here? And this crazy cycle just pepper sprayed me in the eye. Why would you do that? He could go blind. Okay, and good. He deserves it for picking your daughter's lock. May I add to just see her getting out the shower? I allowed him to pick her door because Sophie doesn't like to answer the door. So whose fault is that? If she wouldn't answer the door, he wouldn't need to pick at her lock. He didn't even knock. He just started to pick her lock as soon as he heard the water turn off in the bathroom. So how is she supposed to answer when he didn't even knock on the door? And how do you expect her to cover up when she don't even know that he's picking at her lock? I want you out of my house. Oh yeah, guess what? You can't keep me out because my mail already comes here. How is that even possible? You've only been here one night. Oh no, you see, since Squishy moved in, I've been coming here, but you haven't noticed or you don't even know because you're never home. So you would have to actually take me to court to get me out of here because guess what? Since my mail does come here, you can't just evict me from here and you can't change the locks neither. Oh, and also there's no proof that you didn't know about me because I was walking in and out of this house as I please. I am a lawyer. Did you know that? Do you know that I can destroy your life? Oh, please try it because guess what? I also went to law school and I graduated at the top of my class. So please trust me when I say this. I know the laws. So I'll be waiting for that eviction notice. Until then, you're just going to have to deal with me. Sophie, honey, please go into your bathroom and get dressed, okay? Mom, John took the door off the hinges for what? I told him to so that he doesn't keep getting in trouble for picking your lock. So you take my door away to make him feel comfortable? Yes, because he deserves to be comfortable in his own home. And because you have a lock on your door, he feels uneasy about it. Look, Sophie, okay, this is what the man of the house needs, okay? When you're older, you'll understand. This right here is how you keep your man happy. Then I'll sleep somewhere else. Well, you can do that, but you're still going to be sleeping in your bedroom. And I actually took your bathroom door, too, just so I can reach you better. And I feel more comfortable. Oh, hey, Sophie, you want to come see the new doors that I put up for you? Her new what? Who the hell said that you can do that? I should punch the hell out of you. Okay, do what you have to do, sir, because at the end of the day, don't talk about it, be about it. Sweetheart, you can't handle my punches. I'm a man. My punches will hit you so hard that your ancestors are going to feel it. Oh, John, I think your insecurity is showing because I never said that I could handle your punch, but I know people who can. So please, try it. And that's what I thought, John. So please move. Wow, the door's actually really pretty. I could take this down, no problem. Oh, actually you can't because you need a special type of tool to get it off the hinges. Oh, and as you can see, you can't pick the lock on the doorknob because there isn't one. Um, excuse me, I never gave you permission to do this. Oh, and also it's only voice activated and the only voice it's going to listen to is Sophie's. Oh, and her handprint can open and close this door. And it even can call the police just by Sophie saying call 911 or if she was to touch the door by the rate of her heartbeat because you know how when we're scared our heartbeat goes up it will notify the police and ask her if she needs help if she says no they'll leave her alone but if she doesn't say anything they'll be on their way i will tear this whole wall down where this door is at and then what would you have then i will buy a bigger longer and wider door because if you destroy this you're gonna have to reimburse me do you have ten thousand dollars in your bank account <laughs> i mean well <laughs> i thought so Damn, we ain't never got no milk in here. Oh, hey, Sophie. 
You want some milk? Because I got some over here. Okay, bye, John. Wait, 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 where are you going? I just want to talk to you. John, I don't want to talk to you, okay? I'm just about to go to my room. Can you please move? Damn, why can't I just tell you how beautiful you are and that you smell good? John, please get out of my way and can you let me go, please? Why are you being so damn stuck up, huh? It's, don't act like you don't be giving me hints by the clothes that you be wearing around me. John, I wear normal clothes, okay? Shorts and a t-shirt. And if that gives you hints, then maybe you need to talk to somebody. You need some help. Oh, John, let me go. Let me go. You're hurting me. John, stop farting me. Let. Why do you keep farting? Sierra, Sierra, what the hell just happened? I'm sorry. Hey, 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 hey. Listen to me, okay? You did nothing wrong. Nothing. We need to tell my mom or call the police. Come on, no. We cannot do none of that, okay? Why? He just tried to hurt me. Your mom will blame you and take his side. I know that you think that you telling her this will change her, but it's not going to. The only thing that it's going to do is going to give her time before the police get here to come up with a good lie. And as for the police, the system was not made to believe us. It works against us in certain situations, okay? So we have to fight back in a smarter way. I have a plan, but I need you to act like none of this ever happened. I know that it's going to be hard, but I need you to do it. But I need you to trust me. Can you? I don't know. Every person I ever trusted hurt me. I don't know if I can trust you. I know, I know, but I'm here to help you. Do you remember what I said on the phone to you? I have the power to give myself permission to love, to worry, to stress, to trust. I trust you. Okay, then what I need you to do is go upstairs and just go to sleep, okay? And in the morning, act like nothing ever happened. Okay. What the hell happened off my head? Oh yeah, I was hoping that your head was gonna hurt. Um, we need to talk. Oh, I already know what you're gonna say. Oh, please, enlighten me. I knew since the moment that you got here, you wanted me. It's okay to admit it, baby. Come here and give me a kiss. I could have everybody else on the side, but I really do want you. Oh, I think you got your wires mixed. If I ever see you touch Sophie like that again, I promise you. We'll throw some hot grits on you and report you to the police. But best believe I'm gonna take my time to call them. Maybe 30 minutes or so when it sinks into your skin. Or maybe an hour from so when it actually gets into your body. Hopefully it goes that far because I'm going to make sure they're scorching hot. Okay, let me explain this to you. As long as Sasha is on my side, I will never see inside of a jail. You know love from a damaged woman is the best forbidden fruit there is? You can do, you can say, you can act, you can pretend, you can do whatever you want to them. And they will never know the real you. Oh, you'll slip up. And I'll catch you, and then I'll make sure I'll put you right where you belong. You know what they do to people like you in jail? What evidence, babe, huh? You got nothing, and I could do whatever I want to you. I could do whatever I want to Sophie. I could do whatever I want to Sasha. I already claimed her for myself, so you have a great morning. If this ever gets back to her mom, oh, you don't want to know what's going to happen to you. Oh, and you have a great morning.